Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be another trash talk video. I have a lot of candles, I have a bin full of wax to review for you guys, and my overall thoughts on this round is I had a lot of really, really good things. So it should be an overall positive trash talk. I've been really using some things that I've been enjoying. So without further ado, let's get into it. As always, we will start with candles. I finished two pink petal tea cakes from Bath and Body Works right here. Now, everybody is obsessed with this fragrance. I ended up ordering 10 of them online and pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. And honestly, it was just okay. It wasn't really strong. I burned both of these in my living room here. I had like one burning here and then one by the TV and I really didn't get anything from it. And what I did get wasn't anything special. It was like a very, very light, sweet cake. So not really sure what the big hype was and now I have like eight more of these, but just shows don't buy into hype, buy what you love because I definitely, did not love these. Anyway, so I finished two pink petal tea cakes and the burn was typical Bath & Body Works. Once it hit the halfway mark, the flames were super small and then it literally just became unscented. So two pink petal tea cakes right there. Next we have a wild berry jam donut and I honestly don't even remember this one. I just remember it was not strong, but look at all the soot on there. So much soot. And yeah, I honestly don't even remember it. Wildberry Jam Donut's nice. It's sweet wildberry jam, powdered donut, and a brown sugar crumble. And it does. It smells like a very, very jammy, sweet bakery. I wouldn't necessarily say it smells like a jelly donut, per se. But it's okay. Again, it wasn't super, super strong. So I finished that one there. Continuing with Bath & Body Works, I finished two single wicks. I did a cozy linen. And this says... Feels feels like the promise of every dream coming true. Lily of the Valley petals, sweet orange, and cotton musks carry the comforting feeling of your crispest sheets and softest blankets. Now, I did this one in my bathroom, and it's nice. It's definitely better than sun-drenched linen. To me, I think sun-drenched linen is way too overwhelming on the laundry. It's almost like you had laundry detergent that was way too much. And it's like, you go into the laundry room and it's like overfilling with bubbles because it's so heavily laundried, laundried, laundry soap. It was just like the suds were going everywhere. So I was not a fan of sun drenched linen, but cozy linen here is pretty good. So cozy linen, and it was strong in the bathroom. I just finished this one, it self extinguished itself, which I feel like it self extinguished pretty high up on the jar there, but I finished Deep Blue Sea. And this one here, Blue Citrus Waves, Crisp Island Woods, and Fresh Cypress channel the gentle ebb and flow of crystal clear oceans. And this is nice, it's very masculine body wash vibes. Like if I walked into a man's shower, and he had like a uh, Target shower gel that was supposed to smell like the ocean. I feel like this is what it would smell like. So Deep Blue Sea, it was nice. It was also very strong in the bathroom. Moving on to Yankee Candle, I have one hit and one miss. My hit, my miss, sorry, is Summer Scoop in the large jar. Now I did just haul this. Now, the hit about this is the burn. Look at how clean. Steady, healthy flame from top to bottom. I do use an Alumalid on my large jars, but they burn so, so clean. No soot, nothing. Beautiful, but there was no scent. I even moved this from my bedroom into the bathroom, and yeah, I don't really want my bathroom to smell like strawberry ice cream, but I was like, let me just burn it in there to see if I get a scent. And I didn't even get a scent from this large jar in the bathroom, you guys. So it will not be a reaper. These large jars just are not it for me. I don't know if it's the paraffin itself or if it's the jar. These stick signature Yankee or these classic Yankee candles are just not it for me. Now, the hit art in the park in the medium two wick. I got this at Kohl's. Let me tell you. Oh my God. Okay, for one, 
the burn was great. Now you're generally gonna get this sludging on any soy blend wax. It's just gonna happen naturally. The scent, it was a nice scent. It was a very perfumey rose body care type of scent. So the overall scent was not my favorite. It's not one that I'm like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with the scent. However, it was so strong. I burned it in my bedroom, it blew me out of there. I burned this one in my living room and every time I went like into the dining room and came back in here, I could smell it. It was so strong, crazy, medium to it. Now I am burning the cucumber one in the same jar and I'm not smelling it anywhere. So I haven't tried it in the bathroom yet, but I don't love burning a two wick or a three wick, anything more than one wick in a bathroom because it just gets so sooty with the two wicks, even if it's a cleaner burn. And this is a little sooty, nothing crazy, but yeah, I loved it, loved, loved how strong it was. The scent, again, it was not my absolute favorite, but I really like the performance. So if you go into the store and you love Art in the Park, definitely give it a try. It performed really, really well for me. Moving on to my favorite, my babies, my Kringles. I finished a two wick large classic in Essentials. And yeah, it soots because at the bottom, I let these guys go. Can we just say, look at how long, like look. You can barely see wax in the jar. There's like the tiniest bit of wax here, but I let these burn way longer than I should. So it's gonna naturally soot at the end there because it is so low in the jar. But again, this was perfection from top to bottom. The Essentials is like the Capri Blue Volcano Candle. It is so good citrus, a little bit of green. And if you've smelled the Bath and Body Works Sun Wash Citrus, it's like, there's like almost a burnt orange or like a stale orange. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but there's like some funky afternote in the Bath and Body Works Sun Wash Citrus that does not smell like the Volcano Candle, but this Essentials smells exactly like it. And I wanna purchase this in a three wick soy, 100% soy, cause I think it would blow me out of the house. So really love this, we'll definitely, repurchase that. Now I know it is not Halloween, but I did finish one of the Halloween candles in Nightmare. Speaking of dupes, this is a dupe for the bat for Santal 33 from Le Labo. Absolutely. I have the candle that was $80 for like a six ounce jar and this smelled exactly like it. I was burning this in my bedroom. You're not really going to be able to see because it was when they did the Halloween jars with the gray wax, but this was perfection. I actually think I'm gonna stick this on a hot plate because I want to continue to get every ounce of scent out of this jar. It was phenomenal. It's like a very smoky, fresh, at the same time, sandalwood. Beautiful, perfection, nightmare. I hope they bring this back next year. I love it, love it, love it. It is exactly Santal 33. If you're familiar with that scent from Le Labo, it is beautiful. I only have one luxury candle that I finished this week and it was Cedar Stack from Boy Smells. Now, I have the same thoughts on the candles as I do their customer service. It sucks. I'm gonna do an in-depth video. I'm actually getting ready to film a Worst Candle Brands Part 2 video that have some like overall thoughts on other candle brands that I've been trying that are in the worst candle brands that I've tried video. And Boy Smells is definitely getting a highlight there. So I will leave that for that video. Let's dive into this giant basket of empty, shall we? I'm literally just gonna have it in front of me and we're just gonna pick through. Starting off, I finished not one, not two, but three bars of a happy birthday from Scentsy. Whoops, if I can pick them up. Three bars of happy birthday from Scentsy. I love this bar. It is coming back for the Bring Back My Bar in June, so I wanted to use up my older bars. Uh, these are the ones that they don't even have the, the form indents in the back. Um, I don't think any of the bars I used this week do. Um, oh yeah, this one does. See how they have like the different fragrance categories embedded on there? So these do not, so these are super old bars, but 
It is just like confetti cake. It is beautiful. It's sweet. It's just absolutely delicious. I'm obsessed with this. Love it. We'll always repurchase it. And when it comes back in June, it is going in my club. Next, I finished a Caramel Vanilla Delight from last Bring Back My Bar, not the one that was just recent, like the time before that. And this was okay. I did it in my bedroom. It was like a very sweet caramel vanilla, but almost like missing something. Like I would like a waffle cone. I would like a cake. I would like an ice cream. It was like a very sweet caramel vanilla without anything else. So I would have wanted a little bit more something to go along with it. So I would not repurchase this one. Next, ooh, moving on, I also did, I know I did three bars of this, but where's the third one? Mm, okay, here we go. I did three Dumbo Circus Parade. This I bought into the hype for, and I really don't care for it. It's just like a sweet peach candy, sort of reminiscent of peach rings, not as sugary sour like those are, but it was okay. And when I did three of these bars, I did it in my living room, dining room, and kitchen. I like loaded up the warmers just so I can get rid of the bars. You do not need to do that. I just wanted to get rid of these because they were older and I figured whatever, I have two Accord warmers one on each end of my TV stand. So that holds like at least 12 cubes. Cause if I do two cubes in each, each warmer has three dishes. So I can get through a lot of wax doing it that way. Speaking of three, I also did three of the Up Adventure Is Out There bars. One, two, three of those. And this one also, it was okay. It was like a very, sky type of scent. Like, it was very aquatic. It was very breezy. It was very green. It was nothing that I would repurchase. I, uh, yeah, I just didn't really care for it. It was okay. License bars to me are not worth it most of the time. I finished up a brick in caramel chestnut right here, and this guy was strong. I did this multiple times. I can't even tell you all the places that I did it in, but the scent, I don't know. It just smells a little off to me. Like, I know a lot of people were saying it smells very similar to toasted marshmallow. I can see how it's like marshmallow vibe, but I think it might be Scentsy's Caramel that I just do not care for because I kind of smelled a little burnt and a little off the whole time. So I was beyond happy. And this guy, like beyond happy that it was done. And this guy chugged and chugged and chugged and chugged and chugged. It would not, it would not go away. So there's that one. I finished my one lonesome bar of churro churro that I've been saving because I did not have it in my club. And I do not have any apple butter frosting to mix it with like most people do. And it is coming back for bring back my bar. That's why I melted it. But just like everybody else says, it's you really can't smell it on its own. I did this one bar in my office, which is just behind here. And I really didn't get anything from it. So that made me pretty sad that I used it up, but I'm just gonna add it into my club in hopes that I can build up enough stock for um, apple butter frosting to come back soon. But what have you mixed with churro churro that also make it smell? It's like trying to focus on a hundred things. Um, what else have you melted with churro churro besides apple butter frosting that works? Cause I'd like to use up some bars of it. I did lemon coconut chiffon in my bedroom. I'm regretting not adding this to my club because I love this. This is a very sweet baked lemon coconut delicious scent and it's the type of coconut bakery. You know, I do not like coconut, but when you mix coconut with bakery, it almost makes it just a little bit more creamy, a little bit more rich and not like coconut forward, which I'm so happy about because I do not love a coconut bakery on its own, but mixed with other things, it's delicious. Just like makes it more rich. But you can see this bar has seen better days. Look how oil it was. So I wanted to use that up and it was super, super strong. I believe 
That was all of the Scentsy. Let me do my miscellaneous vendor wax, and then I actually have a ton of, oh, there's one more Scentsy, as I saw here. Ugh. Another one, you guys, My Wish. I really liked it on cold, but on warm, I don't know if the bar was just bad, because this is an older one. I think this is also coming back. It's delicious, it's fig, it's marshmallow, it's sweet and more sweet and delicious, but when I warmed it, it almost had like a burnt smell to it, and I don't know why it was on. So I don't know if it's just because it was super old, but as I remember really enjoying My Wish before. I'm not sure. Let's do my miscellaneous vendor wax before I move into the bathing garden. I finished from Rose Girls Farewell Betty White, and this still smells like a cheap dollar store candle to me. Cup of cake, white cake, buttercream frosting, cream cheese frosting, and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Like I said, I put my nose up to it. I really just smell cheap, artificial, boring vanilla. So would not repurchase that. Uh, I finished a lot of K's and they all had the same performance. None. I literally put them in the warmers and I think an hour later I could barely smell it. So I'm just going to run through these. Berry topped waffles. Banana bake. Black sea. This was horrible. And in the study. So I, and in the study was a blend I made. It was black opium, library, and leather. I would think it would be super strong, all those mixes together. But like I said, I put them in my warmers and I used hot plate warmers. I didn't even use Scentsy. I'm trying to just use hot plate warmers for the vendor wax to get their truest performance. And I get none. Rose Girls, Ludicrously Lucky Luigi, Florida Key Lime Pie, Berry Licious and Vanilla Bean Noel. Could not smell this, this was old though. I love this scent with all my heart, but it does not last at all. Sassy Girl Aroma, Strawberry Cupcakes. This is Strawberry Vanilla Cupcake and Buttercream Frosting. I did this entire loaf, every warmer in my house. My dining room, my living room, my kitchen, my bedroom, my office, my bathroom, my laundry room, every room, it barely smelled after an hour. Like, it was so good, so strong, the most delicious, rich, decadent, creamy, creamy strawberry cupcakes. I love this scent. It's the best strawberry cupcake scent I've ever smelled in my life, but after an hour, I can't smell it anymore. And I even went to the gym, came back, nothing. I walked up the steps, couldn't smell anything. So I don't know, it just does not work for me. I finished, I actually have these guys going now. I'm burning, if you can see here, a Paris Cafe for Bath and Body Works. And I'm trying to use some older L3. I have a basket of on my older L3s that I'm working through this week. And I did Coffee House, Whipped Cream Nilla Wafer. These were like her chunks. These were poured, or these I got April 11th of 2022. So a little bit under, almost a year old. And this is really good. I can't tell if it's this or the Paris Cafe candle, but my house smells like the most delicious coffee house. This is a creamy, rich, robust coffee. Really enjoy that. And the thing is like with vendor wax and coffee, it's good because it only lasts a couple hours. I'm ready to have coffee. Like it is 8.50 in the morning on Friday. And by noon, I don't wanna smell coffee anymore. So it's nice if it gradually fades down to nothing because I don't wanna smell coffee anymore. I did a matrix melt in blackberry sandalwood coffee bean. Now I actually did buy these matrix melts in sets of two. So you will probably see another one of these soon. I have five warmers in my office. So these are pretty thin, one, two, three, four, five segments. So I broke them off, did one segment in each warmer. This is actually really, really nice. It's an interesting combo because blackberry, sandalwood, and coffee bean. I've never really seen a blackberry coffee on a menu anywhere. So it's really interesting with the sandalwood. It's nice. It's like a fruity blackberry with the rich, robust coffee bean. And then that sandalwood sort of makes it a little bit perfumey. It's really pretty. I really enjoyed that one.
All right, guys, I'm trying to keep this to under 30 minutes. We'll see if I can do it. Bathing Garden. I did Bathing Garden. This is from the Valentine's Day collection that I got last year. I pulled it out from under my bed and I made it a goal to melt through my bathing garden. That has been a year cure time, which is what most people say is the best time to melt bathing garden. And I had amazing luck. I did this the week of Valentine's Day and almost everything in this basket really performed well for me. So if it's like one of these large ones, I did it in here because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10. I did 10 warmers in between my living room, dining room, and kitchen. And this lasted, I probably start my warmers at like six in the morning and I let them go 10, 11 o'clock at night. This probably lasted until about five or six. So I would say it lasted about 12 hours. I was really, really impressed. This one is Honey Love. And this is Soft Notes of Toffee, Caramel, Honey, and Sweet Vanilla. Inspired by Honey, I Wash the Kids, which is a Lush scent. I love this scent. It's sweet, sticky, delicious, honey, toffee. And it was really, really strong. Really liked that one. Next, I did Luscious, and this is a throwback scent. This is Smells of Luscious Cotton Candy, Bubblegum, Candy Pears, and Sweet Apples, inspired by Candy Fluff from Lush, which is not the same as Snow Fairy. Candy Fluff is like a dusting powder that they used to have years and years and years and years and years ago, even before I started working there, which was almost 10 years ago. And, oh my gosh. I love this. It's sweet, delicious pink candy. And because it was a dusting powder in the store, the scent almost has like a powdery note to it that just makes it smell delicious. I did Parisian Strawberry Fields. And this is smells of ripe strawberries blended with vanilla, mango, and peaches. This was nice. It was not my favorite strawberry. It was definitely more peach, in my opinion, than strawberry. But the peach that was there was a really delicious, juicy peach. I was just expecting a little bit more of a strawberry. I also finished a smaller clam, a regular size clam, I should say, in it as well. Next, I thought I did more jumbos. I guess that was all the jumbos I did. As far as bags go, I did a bag of pink sugar pie crust. Now this everybody raves about, smells of sweet pie crust and classic pink sugar. It is a beautiful scent. I've never smelled a pink sugar quite like this, but it did not perform. This is the one that did not perform for me. So I don't know if it had too long of a cure time or what. I'm pulling out the bags. I think that's all the bags that I had. Okay, so there's, it looks like a lot, but I did mostly the same. Okay, here we go, yep. So I have three bags of frosted strawberries. Now each one of these had two strawberries and they were like life size, like a true big strawberry. So I did one in each of six warmers in here, this. This rivals the Sassy Girl Aroma Strawberry Cupcake for one of the best strawberry bakery. It says, smells of the sweetest sun-ripened strawberries dusted with powdered sugar and marzipan cupcakes. When this one in the warmers, I put them in, went to the gym, so about an hour, came back. I could not stop huffing my warmers. I was watching TV on the couch and I kept being like, oh my God, this is delicious. This is decadent. This is rich. This is heavenly. Frosted strawberries from the bathing garden. Do not trust it on cold. Melt it. It was beautiful. Now, I thought I had three back. Oh yeah, here's the third one. I was like, I know I did three because I bought three. This is in Kiss Me Silly. Now this is strawberry, red raspberries, cranberries, and red currants blended with hints of apple and rhubarb. This was nice. I did this in my office. These were lips. There was one set of lips in each one. I cut each pair of lips in half to do six warmers. It was a very tart apple cranberry. Very, very tart. So I enjoyed that one. All right, let's see here. All right, oh, I have so many. I did lemon curd and rose milk. I did this in my bedroom. Tart lemon curd is layered over fresh cut roses and blended with rich milk. I have four warmers in my bedroom. 
I did two cubes in three of the four, left the other one empty. This was nice. It was a it was a very cleaner lemon rose. So if you're not a huge fan of like cleaner lemon with rose, you might not like this, but it was enjoyable. Didn't last a ton though. This one, I can't even remember where I did it. Seven layer cake. This is mounds of sugared frosting, white cake, and a hint of strawberries. Yeah, I don't really remember this one too much. It was just like a light strawberry cake. Um, oh, this is a different one. We'll do this later. Oh, okay. I'm trying to figure, okay. I'm picking up because I had two of some of these. This is Rose Glace. Ah, uh, there we go. Which is a dupe of Rose Jam from Lush. Rose petals, fresh citrus, and touches of strawberry, vanilla, and geranium inspired by Rose Jam by Lush. It smells just like rose jam. If you've never smelled rose jam, it's quite unique. It's sweet. There's a little bit of lemon, but it's more of like a candied rose. It's beautiful. It's strong. I did that in my office. Oh, here's a clam of pink sugar pie crust. I did this with the warmers combined with the bag. I really could not smell it. Cinderella would be jealous. I definitely have two of these in here somewhere. Cinderella would be jealous is almond cake, marzipan, and vanilla icing inspired by Lush's snow cake. So Bathing Garden does a lot of Lush dupes. This is beautiful. If you've never smelled um, snow cake, it's like an almond marzipan soap. It's beautiful. It's almond. It's a slight bakery, but it's, it's heaven, and it was really, really strong. There's the other Cinderella would be jealous. Oh, this is one I did not like, and it was very strong. Chocolate Fonce Framboise. I think I'm saying that right. Dark shaved chocolate topped with a swirl of sugar-dusted raspberries. Mm -mm. It was like cheap chocolate. I did not like it. Like Walgreens chocolate, almost, is how I would describe it. It was not pleasant. Charm and Ruin right here. This is... Lush vanilla citrus swirled with a fruity pomegranate base inspired by Prince Charming by Lush. I love this. Prince Charming is a Valentine's Day shower gel. I'm trying to find the double. I don't know if they did it again this year. Here it is. I don't know if they did it again this year. It's really good. It's a very sweet tart raspberry candy scent and the wax smelled just like it. I did salted rose here, two clams. Sugary rose jam blended with salty tears. Tears? Interesting. And sprinkled with pink Himalayan sea salt. It was nice. It was definitely like rose jam with sea salt. I prefer rose jam on its own. I will say the sea salt made it a little bit fresher, but I definitely preferred rose jam on its own. Salted lavender right here. My favorite lavender blended with crystallized sea salt and hints of soft woods, white musk, and sugary vanilla. This was okay. I didn't like the lavender in here. I'm more like herbal lavender, and it was pretty sweet to me. Ooh, this one was really good. Raspberry coconut mousse. Tart raspberry blended with coconut mousse and topped with a coconut drizzle. This is a very sweet raspberry. And again, I tell you, the coconut because it's blended with other bakery, just made it smell a little bit more creamy and delicious. So really enjoyed that one. And last but not least, I did Love Orange, which this was very strong. Juicy Taraka Orange blends with orange peel and kumquat zest. Very, very strong. Very, very, very strong. It's sweet, it's orange, it's zesty, it's bright. Really enjoy this in my bedroom. Last but not least, I tried to open this clam and it literally just like, I've never seen any other clams do it as bad as Super Tarts where it just softens the clam to nothing. Anyway, this is Cotton Candy Soft Laundry Palo Santo. Oh, this was terrible. I don't know if it's the laundry or what. Oh, I don't know. It was bad. I did it in my office. I had to turn it off. It just smelled like rancid laundry detergent. I did not like this at all. 
And that was it. That was my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you melted. I'm having great luck with the bathing garden. I have her circus collection still in storage that I think I'm going to bring out here in the next couple weeks to get through. Let me know down below. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. And I'll talk to you guys soon.